Bunker League. Glad you all are here. Got a new thing for you today. I'm looking at switching up my format a little. What I want to do is bring a lot more information. I try to be as formative as possible. I try to show you from cast to catch so you can see where I'm throwing, the movements I'm doing, how I'm using my rod, how fast I'm reeling, the conditions so you can see what led to a successful catch. That's been the idea of my channel. As I go along on my journey, because I am a new bass angler, believe it or not, and this is my journey of growing and developing. I wanna to get to a point to where I'm a good tournament angler, where I can go to any body of water and pick up fish. So what that entails is learning the fundamentals of bass. So I wanna be going over that. Largemouth bass specifically because that's what I have in my area, but I enjoy bass. We also have spots as well. So enjoy catching them. They put up a great fight. I uh, haven't got into any brown backs, no smallmouth yet, but would love that type of fishing too as well. And that's the concentration and focus of this channel. Uh, eventually I probably will branch off to other species. Um, on my channel I've caught other species by chance, uh, striper, crappie, because all those share these bodies of water out here in Los Banos. But currently my focus is largemouth bass, learning that to master that, the techniques, the principles, the gear, the tackle, and to be able to share that with you and to have dialogue back. Let's make this the best channel on YouTube for those starting out in bass fishing. Let's put some good intelligent information on there for those that are intermediate in fishing, that fish like I do, that even may be more advanced to where they can come to this channel, get something back, and also be excited to add something to share to all of you and to me, because I'm watching, I'm looking, I appreciate all your comments. The other thing I want to get into is gear reviews, and I've been doing those. They haven't been as successful on this channel, but I feel that they are necessary, especially the gear that I choose and why. I want you to be able to get into the mind of this angler so that you can understand the total thought process and not just see me cut into a scene where it's like, oh, hey, guess what, the fish is on. You don't know where I'm at, the temperature, the color uh, of the water, the current or anything, but I'm on, here's a fish and look at how good of a fisherman I am. I want you to have those same experiences on your body of water, very important. One of the other things is spots and locations. I'm not really big on showing you the exact spot I fish because that's a huge part of bass fishing. I'll show you when I get to the water how I read that water because when you're tournament fishing, you're gonna need to go to that body of water and get on that body of water and find more than just one spot. You're going to need several spots. The conditions can change, so you'll need contingent plans to, do, to throw things that are going to go with that changing environment. You can go from wind, rain, overcast, sunny, hot, cold. So we want to develop here a big body of knowledge of bass fishing so that we can be fluid on these different waters. And that's what I want to bring to you. The idea of just go here, stand in this spot. From what I understand, like I said, I'm fairly new, but from what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong out there, but they pay upwards from 60,000 to 90 plus thousand for boats. They pay upwards of 3,000 or more for all their fish finders, for their side views, for their 360 views for their bottom scans. They buy topographical maps. They use Navionic. They use the web in general to locate these bass. It is a big part of bass fishing, the skill of going to a body of water, dissecting it and finding fish. So to just give you a body of water is robbing you. What I need to do is go to a body of water and track down these bass and show you what I'm thinking and why, where I'm throwing, the conditions out there. That to me is more of a gift 
then, oh, I'm right here. Okay, look at the trees I'm at because I caught a big fish there. And then throwing the same lure you saw me throwing and they bite. What have you learned? Hopefully you can get down there right after the video so that the conditions are similar. If the conditions have changed, you'll know not to throw that same bait or maybe you'll need to put more weight on. Maybe you'll need to throw a similar bait in a different color. That, like they say, is teaching a man to fish. Because what happens, I had uh, a spot of mine closed down for repairs. Um, I have other spots of mine that during the hunting season, they close down. So now you don't have access to these spots. Now you're not catching fish. So that's definitely not the point of this uh, channel here. The point of this channel is fluidity to make sure that you can go anywhere, see those same conditions you see me going through and be like, hmm, let me try that. Or in the comments, say, hmm, well, I use this also for successful uh, hookups, so let me try this. That's what we want. So in this journey of about a year and a half, I have read probably about uh, six to seven different books and I'll go I'll go forward and sharing that with you on the books that I use I'll also go forward in the different uh, episodes I have on what inspired me to use what tackle so what resource um, I have local friends here that tournament fish I watch a lot of YouTube I watch probably all the channels you guys watch and we can go back and forth on not in a debate, but on sharing the different channels and what you learn and why, and I'm open to that on this platform here as a resource. So if you know about somebody that does something really well, let everybody know. And this isn't shameless plug time because I've seen that before. So let's not just load it up. Well, well, here's my channel, take a look. But what are you bringing to the conditions you see in that episode? how you handle a similar episode or things in your channel, that would make sense. Or if you bank fish, um, what you're doing, if you tournament fish, what you're doing at any level, that feedback is golden and will help all of us. And that's what we want. In addition to that, um, as the months have gotten colder, I see that people now switch to other species of fish. Uh, like I said, striper are huge out here. So most people, when you're trying to figure out where to go for the winter, like where, where are the bass, uh, to get hints, clues, because that, that's part of it too. There's a huge network of sharing knowledge that the pros have, and they have it down. And tournament anglers, they have it down. And that's why we see them catching those fish in a variety of conditions environments and situations and that's what we want here so that's what I'm looking to develop so in turn because of that I signed up for Bass University it's BassU.TV and what they have is and I'm not sponsored by them at all so don't tune out what what I'm saying is this is what I'm using as a resource to help me gain knowledge and as I gain knowledge is successful, I will share that with you. They have so many pros on there. Most of the pros that, that we know, in addition to, <laughs> geez, uh, 75 plus that I don't know. All teaching, all making a living off fishing. So the information they give is very, very valuable. Um, in addition to that, they have videos that are based on techniques, that are based on baits, that are based on fishing rivers, lakes, ponds, streams, uh, winter, you know, spring, summer, fall. So these are the things that when I'm going out on the water and I'm changing baits or I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this, I wanna be able to give you that resource. I wanna be able to see what you guys do in that situation and really have this thing interactive. So. That's what I'm looking for for this channel and the changes going on in the future. I'd really like to hear from you what it is you'd like to see on this channel in terms of largemouth bass or bass fishing. I will at one point, like I said, get out and catch other fish. I've caught them incidentally. 
So I do know the fight of a striper. Uh, I've caught slab crappie 15 inches, and, and so they're, they're huge out here. Uh, I've caught bluegill and sunfish all my life, which is why my focus is on largemouth bass, and thus the name Largemouth Lunkin. And what I want is lunkers for you and lunkers for me. And that's what we're doing, dissecting this game, having a lot of fun while we're doing it, because if you can't fish, what's better than when you can't fish? It's watching somebody else fish, seeing what they did, seeing if they used a bait and if that's how you use it, or maybe you come away with a few different retrieves that could be golden for you in a critical time. So moving forward, I want to provide a lot more information uh, some of my videos uh, won't have me catching fish in them as I go over different reviews of rods and reels and uh, different baits that I'm going to try out. In addition to that, I am sponsored by Enigma Fishing. I'm a pro staff member, absolutely love their rods and their reels. But as you see on my channel, I also do reviews of other gear. I'm a gearhead. I love learning about gear and why you use that gear. And I want to get to the root of it so that people on here, when they're looking at a rod and reel, they're really getting a good product. What I see happening on social media, I see it on my channel, I see it on different pages, I see it on Instagram, I see it on Facebook. Somebody posts a product and other people say, oh, you need to go with Luz or you need to go with Shimano or you need to go with whatever brand. Not throwing these brands under the bus, they're phenomenal brands. All these brands make great equipment. But the idea that you tell a new fisherman, oh, just buy Luz. You ever been to a Luz website? You know how many r rods and reels they have? Don't do that to somebody. Oh, you can't go wrong with Luz. And just saying, show up with the American hero. Honestly, that's not what made Luz lose. The levels from $49 up to $399. People need help out here. That's why they are searching social media to get these type of answers. Do I really need that just to get started? Do I need a metanium just to get started? Is the metanium gonna catch me more fish than the Abu Garcia Black Max? You know, oh, I'm only a college student. or oh, I'm only in high school. Oh, all you need to do is just go check this. So that's what we want to do is whittle away that type of information. Get them down to basic rock reel that you know works, that you have experience with, and get people out fishing. That's what we want. We want to get people out fishing. So if you do use a particular rod and reel, please tell us why you use it you know, what you like about it and why. Not just you, you can't go wrong with it. If you've had some previous experience with, with other rods and reels, uh, you can let us know that too. But let's keep these comments to where people can take them and use them. You know, because you can go, like I said, with Shimano, the, the range from the spinning reel. You can get a syncopate uh, spinning reel, $29.99. It's just Shimano. Is it the same as the other high-end stuff? The drag, the weight, the composition of the body, the spool, uh, the gears, where they're manufactured, what they're made out of, uh, the handle, how far away it sits from the rod. Is it going to bust your knuckles if you have a big hand? These are the things that we need to share. You know, that that's what I'm looking for on this channel. That's what I want to bring to you guys so that we can go out there armed, ready, ready for the conditions, ready for the environment so that when we hook up with the fish, we can land it. So thank you once again. If you've been here, if you've listened to all this, eh, my heart goes out to you. I love you all very much. Without you, Largemouth Lunkin would be nothing. Please make sure you like and subscribe as well as hit the notification button. The way that YouTube's going now, if you don't hit that notification button, you may not see these videos, even if you are subscribed. In addition to that, they put on a new feature to make us say when we upload videos that 
it's intended for kids or it's not. What that's done is just cut the views in half. So if you're a little bit younger and you watch me and you like what I do, it's probably going to be a little bit harder to almost near impossible unless you do a direct search to find largemouth lunkin. We're not sure what's going on with the al algorithm, so we've changed. You've seen me change. Um, I've had three a week going for quite some time. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, with the new algorithm, it seemed like some of my videos were getting missed, maybe not getting picked up. I went to Monday, Wednesday, just started doing two. I'd like you to tell me what it is you like. I know some people watch in the morning, but then I also have some people as far away as Louisiana that I know of that watch my videos. Shout out to Louisiana Outdoors, as well as people right in my backyard, JJ's Fishing, any fish can get it. So long story short, an incredibly long range. So. We've got a great knowledge base here. Let's share that with everybody and let's get out and catch some lunkers. And as always, stay tuned for the next one.